Oh, hi everyone. This is Marianne with Akashic Inspirations and this is going to be the June Love Tarot reading for Virgo. So like every month I keep saying that are big energies and then every month it just gets bigger. So maybe I shall stop saying that and just say these are the energies while your month and I think a lot of people um, they're either starting the month out by looking back with memories or, you know, kind of like a review or they're just coming out of like this major tempest, right? So here we have the strength card and I like that it's actually the number 11 and this is the Goddess Tarot by Chris Walter. So I actually like that it's the number 11 because we're in Gemini. Um, it's kind of like portal energy, and I think it's something you're coming out of, coming through. She's the goddess of the wind, right? She's literally will bring a tornado to your house and blow the roof off, right? So she also is known, um, she's one of the Odishas in Santeria. She comes from the African religion. Um, I believe it's in Nigeria from Yoruba. So this is like obviously the basis of the, the Caribbean, Santeria, voodoo, etc., and so but many of these goddesses, this she actually is, um, I think, very much associated. I've been working a lot with very much associated with the primal cattle goddess, right? She's represented by the horns, the cattle, the, the also the moon, um, which we'll see on Isis, which you see on Inanna, which you see on Ishtar, which are all variations of Inanna from the Sumerians and the Babylonians on down to the Egyptians. So, um, so this primal goddess, right, she's very earth centered. That's why she, she tears things up, right? She's kind of like that Kali energy and she's really kind of swept through your life and cleaned the palette, right? That's what I see. She has cleaned the palette. Now, now we go for the three and four of wands. So we're talking about what is your passion? Right now you're looking for it. You got three, uh, it's very interesting because at the beginning of the month, is the June 3rd is the new moon in Gemini. So it is about what what you're looking for. But also, what are we all looking for? Joy and happiness. So Gemini is a very fun sign. There's like lots of happiness associated with it and kind of like just do things just for the fun of it, right? And um, so she's kind of looking out and she's holding on to the three, the three wands have like little buds. Then they're starting to blossom. So you're starting to get those ideas, starting to be motivated. And you're looking forward to where you're going to take things, right? We're looking forward to this really fun place. So, um, okay, give me a second here. Then we go to the four, the four of wands. One of the most beautiful cards. Again, look at the gateway, the 1111 gateway to four staves there, right? And what is that? That's the four corners. Four is the, uh, is the um, card of the stability because you're you're dealing with the, the newness of stepping through new things. So you've stepped out from this old pattern and transitioning into the new, which is a marriage, right? It's a marriage of the divine feminine, the divine masculine. It is can literally be a marriage. We're in the month of June, so honeymoon, right? Um, we're definitely into that month of graduations and um, marriages and commitments, right? What are we committing to? A lot of, a lot of uh, things committing to what is your passion, right? And so we then move on to the middle of the month and we're looking at the five of swords. So a little bit of conflict within your thoughts. Um, of course, we're in Gemini, so it's got to be about communication, which, by the way, Oya also, uh, women, look to Oya for leadership. She provides leadership because she was known as being very eloquent in her speech, in her communication, which is great for June. Being clear and concise and eloquent in, in speaking about what is your passion. So there may be a time where you have to stand up for yourself and speak out, right? And yet you will be balanced by having the knowledge, being the queen of swords. She's like totally regal, right? They're looking at each other. Does this conflict, aff uh, you know, aff afflict her? Absolutely not. She's, <laughs> she's Isis, right? So she's totally in her space. Um, she's calm, serene, 
there's no anger. She's like, this is nothing. You know, we got this. All right, we got this. It's all it's all good. She she's got a she's got a plan. She has a plan. She knows what she's doing. She knows um you know what what she's going to be able to come across and how she's going to be able to bring things forward. She's already she's got that plan. She already thought about all these things. Now, again, um here you're seeing you have this perspective that you got to battle things through. Right, that you're you're on top though, right? You're winning. You're gonna win this battle. Whatever it is, you're gonna win the battle battle against ego. Because normally the strength card is a battle about or a, a, a sign how your higher self wins over the ego being normally the lion. Right? So you're you're going to have that that internal battle maybe there's these conflicting thoughts right conflicting thoughts um and and you're you're gonna you're gonna come out on top you're gonna you're gonna take them over why because you have created a foundation of mastery like you are just really good at what you do right here are the three of pentacles again three we've got the three of wands three of pentacles beautiful card look at that how it just matches right up there right um i love how you can read cards in any manner up down sideways and and just go with what you feel is relating to you right nobody nobody can tell you what's wrong or right um it's it's how you interpret it and that that goes with working with your intuition of course right so the last card which is a glorious card, is the world with Gaia. And here we have, okay, so here, beautiful. Again, we start and finish with Oya. And here we have maybe Guinevere. So this, and this primal goddess, right, she's for all seasons. We have the the sum the winter and the summer and right now as as in the southern hemisphere is going into their winter the northern is in their summer right so the sun and the moon complement each other here's the new moon and going into um you know moon on one side sun on the other so it's balance right beautiful balance and here are two griffins griffins were animals that were um made up of different animals we have the the body of the lion the wings, um, what else it has? Um, I know it had the tail of like a dragon, and uh, I think it also had hooves on the back. I'm not really sure, don't remember now, all of the five different things of the griffin. So, um, and griffin is a, is kind of related to the phoenix because it is a this this animal that is a hybrid right and it creates things right it could be the creator or the destroyer was a you know kind of a symbol of power right of all of the best aspects of the different um representations of what they have on the parts of the body right the best of the best so you've gotten to the pinnacle you start with strength and you build yourself up into receiving the complete abundance that the world is your oyster and because you have created mastery, the number three card brings it into manifestation, right? And um, it's a business. It could be. It could be a business, especially seeing like the three of wands, right? And and if you'll notice, the girls all have white dresses. It's either white or red, right? So you see, white here, white here, white white it is is uh, Isis. Here is the combination of the white and red, right? And there, she, but each each one has a little bit of red in it. So I love the, how the sashes are red. Um, so it's it's a combination of purity, purity of thought, and the passion. So, whew, okay, big big spread for you guys, uh, Virgo. And um, again, if you would like to have your own reading, definitely uh, check out the links below, akashicinspirations.com. Um, AkashicInspirations at gmail.com if, if you want to send me an email and of course if you're seeing this on either Instagram or Facebook just go ahead and message me directly and I look forward to hearing with you from you how you feel about this month and how it comes true for you sending you many blessings Namaste